भगवतो वरहतो सम्मा संबुद्ध से नमो तस्से भगवतो वरहतो सम्मा संबुद्ध से नमो तस्से भगवतो वरहतो सम्मा संबुद्ध से अकुसलं भिक्वे पाजहत सक्खा भिक्वे अकुसलं पाजहितुं नोचे सं भिक्वे सक्खा भविष अकुसलं पाजहितुं नाहं एवं वदेयं अकुसलं भिक्वे पजहताति यस्माचको भिक्वे सक्खा अकुसलं पजहितुं तस्मा एवं वदामि अकुसलं भिक्वे पजहताति मे द ट्रिपल जेम ब्लेस यू वी आर मीटिंग अगेन इन किनितुलागल फॉरेस्ट मॉनेस्ट्री अ स्पेशल डे अ स्पेशल रीजन to discuss something very special. I selected a special sentence, a stanza, and an advice given by Supreme Buddha, my dear teacher, Supreme Buddha. I respect him a lot. I know you respect Supreme Buddha a lot, and you feel some more devotion about confidence about this very special teacher when you understand the meaning of this sentence. It's a very kind and humble request given by Supreme Buddha. He's asking, Akusalam bhikkave pajahata. Monks, you can eradicate these impurities. Eradicate these impurities. Try to do this. Sakka bhikkave akusalam pajahito. Yes, you can do this. You can eradicate these impurities from your mind. No chesam bhikkave sakka bhavis akusalam pajahitum. If you cannot do this, if you cannot eradicate these impurities, nahang eva madeya. I will never ask you like this. Akusalam bhikkave pajahatati. To reduce, to purify your mind and eradicate all these impurities. Yasmachako bhikkave sakha akusalam pajahitu. Because of this, because you can eradicate these impurities, tasma evam vadami. That's why I'm telling you, reduce, eradicate these impurities. Akusalam pajahatati. See how humble request done by Supreme Buddha. We have to think about this. Akusalam bhikkave pajahatati. What are these impurities? To understand, to purify our mind from these impurities, to wash them out for the cessation, for the liberation, whatever. However, there is, when these impurities are there in our mind, it is so uh, difficult for us to face in our day-to-day -day life. It is so very uncomfortable for us. Then we have to recognize what and what are these impurities. Akusala, Chaitasika, Chaitasika wise, this thought by thought, one by one, we shall uh, study, investigate, according to Buddha's teaching, my dear teacher Buddha, Samma Sambuddha, what are these impurities? Without identifying them, without recognizing them when it arises in your mind, we are not capable of washing them out. If your cloth is unclean, if your cloth is dirty, 
and you, if you do not know that is dirty, how can you, you don't feel to wash your cloth. You, feel, you will feel to wash your cloth when you recognize, when you understand your cloth is dirty. So then, when your mind is dirty, if you do not know, you won't be able to wash them up because you don't want. In Anangana Sutta also, Sariputta Thero is explaining there are four types of people. From these four, we shall take only two, two of them. They are having uh, impurities there in their mind. One knows that, the other one doesn't know. The one who knows, he is good, he is superior than the, the person who doesn't know. Sariputta Thera explains. Then Moggalla Thera asks, why did you say that the person who is having impurities in his mind, but when he knows that, he is good? Because, Sariputta Thera is explaining, give me the answer. Because, as he knows he is, his mind is not pure, as he know his mind is dirty, he will try to clean it up. He will try to wash them out. Then when we compare to the other person, that's why the person who knows these impurities, I'm, when I am having this, when I recognize, when I, I identify one by one, this is that, this is this, it is easy for us to in, uh, eradicate them and also it is very easy for us to practice Satra Satipatthana, especially when we talk about Chitta Anupasana and Dhamma Anupasana. Chitta wise, uh, when these Dosa Chitta, Raga Chitta, when they come craving and aversion likewise, we, you recognize this is uh, craving, this is aversion, this is attachment, this is anger. Without recognizing, it is so difficult to do these practices in meditation, especially Vipassana. And also, when you recognize these impurities, it is easy for you to eradicate them, identifying that I am not good at the moment, so then I cannot communicate with the people, because I, if I pe communicate with people, if I uh, react for this, especially when you scold somebody, when you punish somebody, when you speak to another person with anger, or else when you speak to another person with craving and love, unnecessarily attached, then you will uh, express your uh, dirtiness to the society. It's not good. Always our mind, then and there, again and again getting dirty. But when you speak at, the at that time, according to the instructions of your own mind, dirty mind, the word is dirty. If you do something by action, your activity is dirty. Then it is not good. When we explain in simple uh, language, when you are angry, if you score somebody with bad words, it's not good. When you are having craving or when you have so much, much attachment to somebody else's thing, when you steal it, you are a thief. That's the reason. So then, we shall recognize one by one. Uh, when it comes to the Akusala, main rooting Akusala are there. Those three, there are three. Those three are the most powerful and root-like uh, attaching and they are standing, the, the root is always helping the plant to stand up and root is always giving the strength to the plant. Likewise, when we talk about these impurities, akusala, these three akusala, chetasika, are, thoughts are like roots, we call them loba, dosa, moha. Loba means in when we talk about in, in English, loba it is it is representing the attachment, craving, love. Likewise, different words are there. In Pali we say loba, ta, trushna, tanha. Uh, likewise, this attachment. When you talk about in in uh, in Sinhala also there are words like loba, dosa. It's similar, but when it comes to Hindi, it is having different words like gusta or else naras mer me mujhe naras hai mer likewise different words are there so then anger for the craving there are words like uh, uh, mahab moham mahabbat uh, aashik pyar me bahut pasand hu bahut mujhe chahiye mujhe ye bahut zaruri hai likewise you crave for this i need this i love this or else for a person you say mere jaan 
that may, my life is you, likewise. This craving is there. This craving is connected with some more impurities. Maybe the craving comes alone. Without these two, another two are there. Uh, ditti and mana. Ditti and mana, I will explain. There are some more words I have. I have to collect from different dictionaries and books. So, uh, because for you to uh, understand this, what is this? So, when you talk about craving, it is attachment, uh, love in a way, but you then, it should not uh, misunderstand or jumble with uh, metta, loving friendliness. Loving friendliness is something else. In loving friendliness, you, it is a, it is a merit. You develop, you cultivate meritorious uh, feeling, a uh, blessing to you and the other people around you, human and non-human or everybody. The loving friendliness is something different, right? So then uh, metta, like it started raining, that's why we stopped a little. Uh, when you take metta, it's not craving, it is something else. You don't have attachment in metta. You don't have attachment in loving friendliness, loving kindness. May all beings be happy, calm, no anger, no hatred. Likewise, you bless them. You bless the people around you. It is, it is uh, one day we uh, talked about uh, this uh, metta in one uh, discussion, in one sermon. What is metta and how do you do that? So, metta is very closer to craving sometimes, but you want to understand what is the, now whether I am having craving or uh, loving friendliness. Because when you spread loving friendliness, metta, bhavana, metta to other people around you, like mom, dad, or your friend, or your uh, neighbors, like, right? Where if you have a, a spro, what do you call that, girlfriend or boyfriend, somebody, it may convert, may turn without knowing, un, without your senses, it automatically it may be changing into uh, craving. So you must be very careful about that. You must be very careful whether I'm having, I'm craving, I'm loving these people unnecessary, or else whether I'm spreading love friendliness. So this is one of the most important uh, impurity to understand by yourself. Then you can eradicate easily them one by one. We shall talk another two impurities which are attached to this first one, craving. Uh, ditti, that I, I have collected some of words that uh, Ditti is having that wrong view. Wrong view when you take that uh, Ditti, it has different types of wrong views uh, about myself, about yourself. You are having that me, my, mine, like by that id, ego, ego-centered people we call that, that craving about yourself. I'm having uh, that I am very good. I, I am, a, I'm this kind of a person. This ditti comes with you when craving is there with you. Lower ditti together. Always lower craving and ditti wrong view comes together. Ditti is a very important uh, thing to recognize because when somebody becomes uh, so on, so tapati, in Magga Chitta, uh, Sakkaya Ditti, my, me, mine, feeling, Vichikicca, and we are coming to that also in the future in this sermon, uh, Sila Buddha Paramasa, the, the, the desire to go for another religious places and big uh, different things, asking different things from gods and different reasons, different people, different places. That feeling, that desire, that want, you don't, have, you don't feel that to go. Because you don't have Sila Bada Paramasa. You know that Nati me saranang anyang, Buddha me saranang vara. Nati me saranang anyang, Dhammo me saranang vara. Nati me saranang anyang, Sangho me saranang vara. So then, you don't have that wrong view. There are different types of wrong view. Nati dinna, Nati itta, Nati hutan, Nati sukkata dukkata kammanang, Palang vipako. Like, like that, uh, when you explain that, uh, 
uh, no use of donating, no use of giving something to some people, no, no use of sending food to the other people. We invite people, sometimes monks to home and uh, donating different things, food and the other, what they need, the different goods. That no use of do, do, doing those things. That kind of a wrong view. This is not well, for us to our survival. Don't misunderstand. We are not uh, uh, motivating you for the donations for our survival. You don't want to bring anything because we can take our begging bowl and go for begging arms. That is the best way for us to find food. And when a person becomes a monk, a boy shave his head and beard and uh, wear this robe. Nobody can stop. Comes automatically. The people like to offer. It explained in uh, uh, Saman Pala Sutta in Diganikaya very nicely. So then, so uh, if anybody is explaining that you know use of donating these things, you can eat those things rather than giving. That is a wrong view. Natte sukkara dukkara kamana palamipaku. When you do good things, good results. Bad things, bad results. This topic we discussed about, about this topic in last sermon in last month. Uh, you can see, uh, learn about those things, different types of karma, jandaka karma, upastamba karma, upapilaka karma, pagataka karma, likewise, then garuka karma, asana karma, achinna karma, katatta karma, then another for dita dhamma vedine karma, upapaja vedine karma. Aparapariya Vedaniya, Dahosi Kama, likewise, 12 types of Kama and Vipaka we discussed last sermon. That also you don't believe. Wrong view. Natti Mata, Natti Pita, no use of treating and uh, helping the parents, mother and father. Wrong view. You have to treat your parents. Then Natti uh, Satta, Opapatika. There are four ways of uh, births. One is Oviparous by eggs, another one viviparous by mother's womb through that. Oviviparous, different way, another way is there. The egg is there in the mother, animal mother's womb and uh, hatch in the mother's womb and come in the baby out. Like I think uh, Russell's wiper uh, is like that. Some more animals are there. Even I think uh, fish, guppy, platy, likewise. Fish also they lay, uh, they are having eggs kind of things in, in their body and the babies come out, come out. Uh, that's different and another one another set of animals they meet the uh, uh, genetically uh, parts in the out in outside we call sunset the uh, it means uh, fertilization happens outside and the another one is there which is not detected by the science of particle they appear appearing at one in God's heavenly realms, they appear at once as a god or goddess, about 16 looking, 16 years looking, very young. Uh, science cannot see these things from their tools and uh, objects, unfortunately. But with the, uh, with the devotion and the confidence, according to the evidences of our side, what we can see, we believe when we go for that, according to Supreme Buddha, we believe that. We respect Supreme Buddha and we believe those uh, invisible things through the visible things we can have. We can see. There are visible things we can have experience. With that experience, we uh, recognize there are things we cannot understand. We cannot think. Those things we have to understand. We have to study through the confidence, through the respect. Then. Nati Satta Opatika, no appearing animals, beings, not animals, beings. Wrong view. Uh, and likewise, different views are there. At last, there is no Supreme Buddha who is explaining everything from everything, everything in everything. Uh, that there is a doubt about uh, Supreme Buddha and it is uh, likewise uh, the wrong view. This wrong view, Ditti, comes with craving always. And the third one is mana. It is also coming with craving, those uh, lobe and mana together. And you have to recognize, understand this. Ditti and mana, two different things. I, my, mine and wrong view, one side. 
mana i have some more words that it's a, a conceit and you try to estimate you compare estimate uh, uh, and compare that uh, sometimes it when it comes up we call arrogant now you can understand right arrogant you do not want to listen to another person that i am superior or uh, sometimes you uh, conceit it like uh, i cannot do this i am not capable of doing this two different sides two different angles in one side i am the best that is also mana conceit the other side i can't do this i am unable to do this i am the weakest again conceit conceit is a bad thought impurity in our mind have to eradicate and this mana conceit comes with always lobe craving attachments so i usually we refer books to study rather than tripitaka tripitaka books or any way we are reading and some of the uh, books are there our uh, teachers have recommended among those books in singhala when we take uh, renukani chandimala teras books we read there are fortunately there are some translations of these books i brought one book usually i read this uh, this is uh, the handbook of the buddhist and i read this a lot and it helps me to study a lot and this is a translation of about the agyatpata in singhala translated by uh, dj percy silva a good translation can recommend and uh, you can learn a lot and some more translations are there the noble four noble truth book is already translated by another lay person and bodhipakshaka dharma book also translated by at bante uh, good translations help us to learn a lot uh, when now we have already spoken about three impurities lobe craving uh, ditti wrong view and mana conceit now we are coming to the second root now we talk about one root the second root is dosa that is anger anger prayer anger and also you call it as uh, hatred and uh, ill will aggressive in hindi we call it as mujhe gusta aa gaya that i'm i got angry tu mujhe naraz ho are you angry with me likewise uh, parishan that means little bit uh, shaking mind uh, not Uh, keeping concentration and you are getting scared get is scared also that is also anger that get, getting scared means you scared for something fear that is anger uh, in hindi dar gaya mujhe main dar gaya i got scared likewise different words we use this anger this say this animal is getting make me making me angry so when it comes to my face i feel angry uh, it happens automatically we cannot stop as lay, as worldly people because of human beings because of animals because of no beings because of the stones and the sand and everything we get angry that natu- that's natural but the only the thing is you have to recognize what is anger and when it comes through your mind when it uh, is there in your mind you have to recognize that i am angry now that is very important when you are, recognize you are angry me anger is very important to recognize right when you identify that most of the problems in the world will ease most of the problems are not there not coming to your life so then anger is another impurity dosa a rooting impurity very important very powerful impurity and also all these uh, uh, bad deeds which is capable of sending you to the hell hellish real next life definitely we call anantariya happening because of anger killing mother killing father killing uh, arhat fully in, uh, enlightened person or uh, uh, disturbing buddha and let it let him bleed with the wound and uh, separating sangha we spoke about this garuka kamma in last last sermon 
I will ask uh, Amitra Bhante to put that uh, link also for you to refer that also because this is connected with that last sermon. You can uh, uh, learn about this uh, karma. We find it. Then, then those uh, like loba, loba was was always connected with uh, ditti and mana, wrong view and conceit. Those also anger also is connected with another three impurities. Sometimes those three are there, sometimes maybe not. What are those? Those Issa, Machariya, Kukucha. Issa means in we call in Sinhala Irsha and uh, in English jealous, envy likewise. And also there was a disc uh, description, uh, discontent about somebody's success. Discontent about somebody's success. So English is my second language. So I was I, I always uh, uh, search for new uh, information, new words. So then I found jealousy and uh, envy. You can understand what is what are the differences between jealousy and envy more than me. Anyway, that is issa or else irsha. Very bad impurity. You feel so uncomfortable when you see somebody is going up, somebody is getting success, somebody is passing examinations, somebody is beautiful than you, more beautiful than you, somebody is more educated than you, somebody is very rich and having a good nice vehicle. You feel so uncomfortable that because of not low but craving, that because of anger, dosa. Anger is coming with jealousy. Not always. Sometimes anger comes alone. Sometimes anger comes with jealousy. I don't have a lot of experience about the other country people. I, I, as I think, most of the developed countries, the jealousy is less. I think. But in Sri Lanka, most of the people, they try to compare with the others and feel uncomfortable because of jealousy. They are building houses for the others to see. They are buying vehicles for the others to see that I'm having a big vehicle. Then the person who is not having that, that the person who is having those call, uh, uh, facilities, they are having conceit, mana, with craving. Those who are not having that, they feel jealous with anger. That is irsha. So uncomfortable. Because we are not satisfied. In Dukkha Satya, the, the truth of suffering, Supreme Buddha explains this. What you like to have, it is not coming to you always. What you don't like, it comes to you sometimes. This unsatisfactory, this suffering is always with us. When we try to run as a race, race, running, running, running. And most of the developing countries, students also, uh, running in the schools. I mean, not in the ground, but there is a competition. With this competition, automatically, the jealous arises in their minds. It makes others, uh, them to speak, speak about the others' weak points always and complaints, unnecessary wrong, bad complaints to put them down. And this uh, jealousy is very bad. I do not recommend. If you have a plan yourself alone, okay. I had a friend earlier, he was uh, studying in a uh, school in Colombo and I asked, actually he was having a desire to be a teacher, a male person, boy. Usually in Sri Lanka also the teaching is not that much recognized for a boy especially. But he was very happy to be and he wanted to be a biology teacher. Then he selected zoology and botany. Most of the university students, senior students scolded him. Why don't you select chemistry? You don't have jobs without chemistry. You don't have jobs without physics. Uh, only zoology and botany are not enough. No, he was having a desire to be a biology teacher. That is enough and English he was having. And after being a teacher, he bought a small scooter bike. Then the other teachers asked, why don't you buy uh, an expensive, nice car? 
so this is enough for me to go home then uh, then he said like that so he was so happy relaxed and not comparing with the other people others education others vehicle others houses you were so comfortable when you try to compare you feel jealous oh i don't have this but the others are having beauty also the the beauty and the appearance the complexion your eyes your voice uh, it comes as a gift these appearance these qualities they come as a gift so you cannot steal them from the other person if you are dark happy about a dark skin because most of the english people in most of the uh, western countries they like dark skin they don't have they go to the sun and uh, sun bathing different things they do to have a, a brown skin like this so you have to be happy about your own skin about your own complexion otherwise being jealous is useless it's very painful jealousy is very painful nothing you gain being jealous try to do this practice remove all these impurities try to stop satisfy okay i will go to this destination and then i am very happy if i can go more than that let me go but i don't crave i don't fight i don't run too much because we are having a very short life span 80 years 90 maximum 100 though we live 100 years it's just like not living so then have to be very happy at this moment living this moment there are a lot of benefits of living in this moment by using uh, different meditation methods anapana we spoke about anapana meditation also earlier learn those things jealous is not good bad dirty impurity in your mind we spoke about anger and we spoke about uh, jealousy which is coming with anger then the third one in anger side anger is the root jealousy and then macharya it is having a uh, different words uh, stinginess i found that word from this book handbook of the buddhist uh, stinginess and miser miser miserly is something very uh, mis miserable miserable person uh, uh, stinginess is also kind of uh, you don't feel to show your properties to anybody else you don't want to see, uh, exchange or share your uh, your properties your money your facilities with another person you don't like it that is we call machari uh, for an example we can take matta kundali's father adina pubbakar he was a very rich person but he did not want to spend one cent always collecting collecting it's very miserable actually sometimes uh, we have met these kind of uh, people who are having that uh, singiness machari they are having diseases but not going to the doctor they are hungry but not going to eat something they like this and that to eat but they don't don't buy them and eat but having a lot of money in their bags their bags are very big but not using them that is macharya stinginess uh, in vain it doesn't mean that you have to spend all the money you are getting you have to save also but you have to enjoy your life because our life is very short have to understand this how much i want to spend how much i want to save for the future how much i have to enjoy how can i enjoy my life in a good way have to understand stinginess is if you die tomorrow what will happen then useless it will go to somebody else it is it doesn't matter but this uh, it's it is uh, a uh, stinginess or my person it just just look like looks like a uh, craving but it is not a part of craving because this macharya comes it is uh, having a relationship closer relationship with anger dosa so then how to recognize this uh, issa or as jealousy irishya that also it looks like craving but 
Actually, when you see somebody's happiness and feel jealous, it is so related and have a connection with anger, not craving. It's anger. The third one, we are coming to the third one, kukucha. Dosa, issa, macharya. The fourth one, kukucha. It is having another, uh, some more English words like regret and remorse. Regret or remorse. Uh, let me give you an example like this. Uh, you are having uh, a sermon, dhamma discussion near, near your house, your neighbor's house, and you are invited. And because of this and that different reasons, you do not go. Then after the sermon finished, you get a message. Somebody else come, a neighbor comes to your home and say to you, Oh, very nice sermon. I believe we enjoyed a lot. We learned a lot. A good Bhante came to give that Dhamma discussion, Dhamma talk. He was an educated person and he was doing, he is a meditating monk from a monastery or from a temple. Very nice. In vain you did not come. Why didn't you come? What kind of an activity you had? I didn't, why couldn't you come? You could come. Likewise. Then what will happen? You are worrying about yourself. Oh my God, I could go. I had descend that I had to wash my clothes and I had to uh, uh, clean my room or cook for my uh, husband and the children or whatever the activities you had, if you are a wife. Or else I had to study for my examination in vain. I, the exam also, we have enough time and next week I have the examination in vain. I didn't go to the sermon. Then you are worrying about. Worrying about the activities you couldn't do, good activities you couldn't do. That is also remorse. And also, a remorse comes. It's a kind of a worrying. It's a kind of a frustration. Uh, remorse comes with the bad activities you have done. For an example, a mosquito comes to my arm. Then suddenly, I kill it. Usually, I don't kill animals. If I kill, after killing, oh, it's dead. Then, in bed. My precepts. I observe. Now, I don't have that. I broke that. I am worrying about. In bed. I killed an animal. Again and again. Worrying, worrying, worrying. This worry, remorse, regret, comes with anger. You don't know that. Automatically, it comes with anger. Let me give you another example. Uh, Prince Angulimala. We explained this also last uh, sermon. He killed a lot of people. After killing thousands of people, he got the studentship of Supreme Buddha. He stopped killing people. He started spreading loving friendliness to people, kindness to people. After being a student of Supreme Buddha, he became a monk. He is a monk now, Angulimala Bhikkhu. He was begging arms and when he was walking, he saw a mother was going to give the birth to a child. She was suffering, paining. You know that delivery of a baby is a very painful thing. Mothers know that very well. Uh, who gave the normal birth to the child, not caesarean birth. Uh, mother was suffering and uh, Bhante Angulimala returned to the monastery and said, Supreme Buddha, what can we do? So you bless. Angulimala, you bless. You bless by telling that I have never killed an animal. Angulimala Bhante was so excited. How can I bless like that? Because I, when I was a lay person, when I was a prince, I killed a lot of people. Bhante, I, how can I bless like that? I can't do. Remorse. I have done bad things and now I am worrying about that. Suffering, suffering, suffering. Regret, remorse, frustration. The Supreme Buddha wanted to stop his remorse, kukucha. Then Supreme Buddha explained, no Angulimala, do like this. You think about your ordinary life. Jato ham bhagini ariyaya jatiya jato, ariyaya jatiya jato. When I, after I became a student of Supreme Buddha, 
Nabijanami Santi Chapanang Jivita or Ropeta. I cannot remember, I cannot recall. I killed at least a tiny ant, a small animal. I did not kill. So if it is a true, I bless you with that merit. I bless you with that word. You have a good, healthy, easy delivery of your baby. Still, today also, we use those blessing words as Angudimala Paritta to bless the mothers to make the delivery easier. In Sri Lanka and you know, most of the uh, Buddhist countries, we chant that Yato ham bagini ariyaya jati ajato nabe jana me sanchi chapana jivita oro peta. I did not kill, I cannot remember I killed an animal. Tena sache na sorti te ho to sorti ga basadi. So it, if it is a truth, with that truth, make your delivery easier. Nice blessing. If Angulimala Bhante was suffering with remorse, if he couldn't understand that and wash it out by the help of Supreme Buddha, he would never be able to bless like that. He will never be able to become an enlightened person. Because remorse, regret is a very bad impurity. The worry about you cannot do, you couldn't do. The worry you uh, couldn't do good things. The worrying, you are worrying about the things you did, bad things. Good things you didn't do, bad things you did. Remorse. So then we have already spoken about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven impurities. When we talk, uh, when we uh, take a summary, lobe, root, craving. With that, the uh, timana, wrong view, and uh, what do you call that? Conceit. Man. Then the second root, dosa, anger. With that, jealousy uh, and uh, stinginess, stinginess, and then remorse. Loba ditti mana, three of them. Dosa isa machari kukucha, four of them. These four, when you talk about, dosa comes alone, or else dosa comes with visa, jealousy, anger with jealousy. Sometimes anger comes with uh, Macharya, sometimes anger, dosa comes with kukucha, remorse. Issa, Macharya, kukucha, those three will never meet each other any day. They are not coming together. If Issa, issa comes, jealousy comes, kukucha, remorse doesn't come. They are separated. They are not coming together. So you can have an idea about your impurity. Learning about these things and writing all these things in your book is not necessary. It's good do you write, but when it arises in your mind, you have to be able, you must be able to understand. Okay, I, my mind is not not pure, not good now. So then I'm having jealousy, I'm having remorse. So I have to wash it out. How can I do that? It is explained in Satipattana, Chittanupassana, Dhammanupassana. You can learn those things and study and practically you can eradicate. The impurities from your mind. Let's go to the next impurity. The root, third root is moha. Moha is having some more words I have collected for you. Ignorance, a delusion. Delusion is uh, kind of believing different, different, un unnecessary and invisible things, but it is coming with uh, moha in, in ignorance and uh, misunderstandings, madness, different things. Madness is not that the, uh, the medically support is needed. That much of madness, we all are having madness because we have, we don't understand. What is moha? Dukke anjana, dukkha samude anjana, dukkha nirode anjana, dukkha nirode gamini patipada anjana. Then, what is suffering? You don't know. The reason of suffering? Cause? You don't know. After eradicating everything that the Nibbana or as the liberation, you don't know. And how to go to that liberation, the eight noble path, you don't know. If you do not know the four noble truths, you are having ignorance more. Then when you understand, when you study those things, you are having wisdom. Panya, what is Panya? Panya, Pajanana, uh, Vichayo, Dhamma, Vichayo, uh, likewise. Salakana, Pulakana, Pachupulakana, Panditchanko, Salla, Nepunyang, Ve Bhavya, Chinta, Puparika, Ve Buri, Medha, Panya Aloko, Panya Pajoto, Panya Ratanam, 
Likewise, this prajna, panya, wisdom is explained in Buddhism as uh, dukkha jnana, dukkha samudaya jnana, dukkha nirodhe jnana, dukkha nirodha gamini patipada jnana. So if you are understanding that, if you know that, that is panya. If you don't know that, that is moha, ignorance. Right. When we talk about the ignorance, ignorance is a definite, definitely compulsory impurity in your all the bad minds. It means when you're having a mind of lobe, craving, when you're having a mind of root of uh, anger, dosa, also this moha is mixed with that. Ignorance, misunderstandings are mixed with that. Then moha is always with you when you're having, whenever you're having a uh, bad thought, akusala, chitta. Then it is we call uh, sabba akusala sadharana. Always it is there whenever you're having impurity, moha. In, when you talk about moha, there are another uh, three always with moha, always with all the impurities in all bad minds. Those are ahirika, anuttappa and uddhacca. When you talk about ahirika, it means you are not, uh, you don't feel uh, shy to do bad things. For stealing and uh, other things, killing animals, um, or as, uh, sexual mis misconduct, or else drinking liquor, cigarettes, smoking, those kind of bad activities, you don't have a shy, you don't feel shy in front of anybody, whether they know that I don't care, I kill animals, right? The others know that it doesn't, you don't care. That means uh, you are not having a shy, full feeling about bad activities. That is Ahirika. Uh, just like uh, the pig with Fecal matter, the pellets, fecal, human fecal matter is a very good food for pigs. So you know that when you go out to the toilet and pass those things, you don't feel to look at it, look at that even. But for the pig, it's enjoyable food. It is touching that, uh, sniffing that, eating that, sleeping on that, uh, very enjoying with those uh, ugly things. Just like that, the person who is not having a shy about bad things, he does always stealing killing uh, sexual misconduct lying complaining always uh, or else uh, liquor smoking he does he doesn't care that is ahirika anuttappa means you are not scared to do these things you are not afraid of uh, people will scold me when I steal other things, uh, police will catch me. Uh, I will be, I will go to the hellish realms in my next next life if I collect bad, uh, impure uh, deeds, karma. You don't feel scared. I will miss this valuable liberation. Wise person thinks like this. Others don't care. That is anuttappa. Anuttappa is explained as an example like uh, when you have a candle lighted, when the power cut is there, we usually light candles. When you light the candles, we observe these tiny insects like crickets and grasshoppers. No worry, they go through this uh, flame. They don't care. After going once through, they burn half. Even they don't stop. At least they are walking towards the flame. I don't know the reason. Uh, I, we are trying to save them and chase them out. But they come again and again to the flame. They don't know. I don't know whether they know it or not. They will burn and they will uh, die. They are coming towards. Likewise, the person who doesn't feel scared of bad things, just like that grasshopper and crickets, they come towards the fire. They do bad things, knowing the results. Sometimes the society, the people will scold me, I am having a bad reputation. And uh, sometimes uh, I will, uh, the police will get, caught, get, get me to the police station and I will have to go to the jail by doing very bad things in the society. Uh, 
killing stealing likewise and also uh, i will go to the hell is really mean next my my next life i am very scared to go to the hell i want to plan to go to the hell, heavenly realm or human life so then i don't do that feeling is not there okay i don't care i will miss the liberation and cessation you don't feel that that is anottapa you don't scare moha ahirika anottapa the last one uddacha uddacha the pali word explains uh, restlessness restlessness means not the body restlessness the restlessness of your mind for an example that also we explained in our anapana uh, discussion about the anapana meditation we had a discussion we had a sermon previous months uh, when you close your eyes and keep your body straight and concentrate about your respiration inhale and exhale the air goes in and out your mind is not ready to keep concentration about this particular object the breath up and down up and down it wanders away your mind doesn't want to stay at that place which is so disturbing so it does it just run to another place sometimes your home the city town and the previous uh, trip or somewhere beach park garden here and there food and beverages uh this and that games and computers phones mind goes everywhere this is restlessness restlessness when it is arose in your mind when you cannot do meditation properly it comes with all the impurity mind impure minds like lobha dosa both the minds when it take about the number of minds number of chitta lobha chitta kama vachara we have eight craving minds we have uh, two angry minds dosa and moha we have two likewise we have already uh, 8 9 10 12 12 impure minds chitta wise one by one we here we spoke about the uh, sub particles of each and every mind uh, lobha dittimana those are sub particles chait chetasika lobha kosa chetasika uh, dosa is a root chetasika and the others dosa issa machari kukucha chetasika thoughts then moha rooting chetasika and also ahirika anuttappa uddacha they are they are also chetasika and we are coming to the last set that is doubt uh vichikicha very dangerous impurity when you are having that vichikicha means you are having a doubt about supreme buddha don't know whether supreme buddha was there or not don't know whether he explained like this or not i am not sure i am having a doubt likewise i don't have that the way you are having i am explaining sattari kankati vichikichati dhamme kankati vichikichati about the doctrine sanghe kankati vichikichati the disciples you are having a doubt about pubante kankati vichikichati the previous life you are having a doubt aparante kankati vichikichati the next lives you have doubt pubante aparant both you are having a doubt uh patisampada about the teaching of, uh, again you are having a doubt the hetupala the cause and the action uh fact these kind of different type of doubt 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 i am not sure about this why do i offer these things why can i why do i worship like this i don't want i don't want this doubt will end up with changing your religion we do, last time also we explained we do not want a lot of people to be buddhist uh yeah everybody must know this buddhism is not a, a religion which is developing the quantity the buddhism is a religion which is developing the quality if anybody that and the religious teaching in buddhism is for wise people not for the mentally disordered ones uh, not for insane people uh, then even when it when this uh, doubt uh, is cultivated in your mind it is ending with changing your religion to another one doesn't matter and uh, you are you will never look at supreme buddha statue as sometimes i don't have a feeling about this i don't like it likewise you will ignore that it doesn't matter but uh, this doubt is very dangerous because after you die 
if you have a doubt about these things you will definitely get the permission to go to the hellish screen nobody is there to help you when you have michaditi michaditi means you have completely different uh, understanding about the nature that is not the reality of the nature when you have an understand wrong understanding about the nature that is we call michaditi when you understand the nature as nature the action and the result hetu phala when you do something the result comes according to that when you do white things the result is white when you do black things the result is black if you do not uh, believe that if you do not work accordingly you are having michaditi that is very dangerous after the death you will definitely will be born in the hellish realm then doubt is not good uh, that is vichikicha at last we are coming to the mind or the thought the thought which is giving you feeling of sleeping now are you sleeping <laughs> if you are having a sleeping and uh, lazy feeling that is because of this what is what is it that is thena mid two thoughts together always together thena mid thena mid is uh, our bad thoughts which are making us uh, backwards of the good activities the similar words i collected the sloth or uh, lazy torpor it's a new it was a new word for me t o r p o r torpor just search for that and sluggish sluggish this book is explaining a lot of books and what i showed you uh, sluggish uh, sluggish lazy sloth torpor these words anyway when you do when you try to do a good thing you feel sleepy lazy backwards especially when you are listening to a dhamma talk you are drowsy sleepy when you start reading a buddhist book no but of right you feel sleepy when you listen to pirit supreme buddha's teachings chanting again sleepy it happens because of tinamid so we have spoken about lot of impurities now when it comes in your mind you have to recognize okay i am having this today now so i have to reduce that i have to recognize this akusalam bikkave pajahata you can reduce this do this sakha bikkave akusalam pajahitu you can do this no chesam bikkave sakha bhavis akusalam pajahitu nahang evam madeyam akusalam bikkave pajahata ati if you cannot do this i will never ask so we will explain yasma chuko bikkave sakha akusalam pajahitu tasma evam madamai as you can do this that's why i am telling you to do this akusalam bikkave pajahata reduce destroy eradicate impurities we shall try to do this because our teachers request our teacher supreme buddha's request because supreme buddha's duty buddha duty is helping the others to purify their minds bikkhu bikkhu ni upasaka upasaka as you are a bikkhu or as a upasaka upasaka bante or lay person no matter everybody worldly people they have impurities either my mind having when it arises i know that when i know that i can eradicate so we shall do this through meditation through lessons try to do this that is the wish that is the blessing of supreme buddha so we have spent one hour closely and i would like to wind up now there is a small paper i have to uh, bless them for helping us for these uh, sermons and amitra kalabante asked me to explain these uh names nilmini tilakaratna mrs nilmini tilakaratna from kirillavala and uh, she is uh, uh donating these things and she is helping us to uh, send merits to her mom and all the other relations another sick uh person is there so mata tilakaratna we bless her to be uh, queue quick as possible 
and the medicine or all the things, the protection and the attention of the doctors will help her and be blessed for all these things also. Uh, uh, Father Dadigama Tilakaratna is doing this, that helping us for these uh, sermons and the activities in the media unit. Mm. They have donated different things and re uh, replaced these video switches and hard drives and camera and uh, lenses, those different types of uh, equipment, the names are there. These donations have been done for those people, I mentioned the names. We uh, bless them also and uh, we send the merits of the dead people, their relations and may they rest in peace and may they find the liberation. Those who are living, they find the they may have a pink have the pink of health we bless them to have long life and for all the people who listened to this dhamma talk i bless them may the triple gem bless you thank you very much <laughs>